Hi, I'm Jennifer Wartman. I'm going to read my very short story, Not the Kind of Girl. It appears in the 2020 issue of Moon City Review. Beautiful cover, also quite lovely on the inside. Um, I am delighted to be a part of this wonderful journal. Thank you for listening. Not the Kind of Girl. She's never been to his dorm because he always came to the restaurant to get away from Rousseau. And then they always went to her place and she thought he was different and she thought she was different. And she never said, I love you, but she felt it. And he stopped coming around and she's not the kind of girl who shows up drunk on doorsteps anymore. But last night she dreamed he died, and once she dreamed her grandma died, and when she woke up, her grandma had died. So after her dinner shift, she drives to Rousseau, and now the students stroll the street like it's their own private sidewalk, and she wants to run them down, but she doesn't. And she passes old stone buildings and enormous trees, and the big modern library and the pocket-sized downtown. And once she told him she loved Bukowski and he winced and said, you should read so-and-so. And she said, who says I haven't? But she hadn't. And maybe he stopped coming around because she loved Bukowski or maybe because she said, who says I haven't? Or maybe because he was just another fucker who fucked girls over. And the students, don't seem freaked out, like someone has died. But maybe Rousseau's students don't freak out. Or maybe they're good at hiding their freak outs. Or maybe no one has found his body yet. Because in her dream, he died in the forest. So maybe he killed himself in the woods because he had cancer and left her to save her from watching him die. But then the pain of the cancer and losing her was too much to bear. Or maybe she's an idiot and the kind of girl who deserves whatever she gets. And she parks her clunker and tries the cafe and it's packed and smells like sugary coffee and unwashed hair. And she spots him up front, leaning back in his chair and his profile is prettier and smarter than hers. And an old guy on stage reads poems into a mic and she can tell just by looking the guy's not a professor, just like anyone can see that she's not a student and her heart beats in her head and she should turn around and leave. But she sucks in her stomach and pushes past students with tall steaming drinks and in her dream, she climbed a tree to save him though the branches kept breaking. And now her legs speed up and the students make way and it's so easy to go to him and it's so easy to see he's not happy to see her. And it's so easy to see that something has died. But she's not the kind of girl to stand there and cry. So she slaps him so she can touch him one last time.